Good morning. Would you like this? Try it. Try it. That's right. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. You ready? It's over here. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? strong. Doesn't that hurt your hand? What? Tell me. <sighs> what are you going to say? Oh. 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 oh my goodness. You're pretty good, huh? You gonna come say hi to Sebastian? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Say hi to Sebastian. Gentle. <laughs> say hi, friend. Yeah, he's on the camera. Can you see him? Camera. Go say hi to him. Give, yeah, go give him a hug. Can you give Sebastian a hug? Aw, so sweet. You want to see yourself? Bye. Here, I'll show you. Go, Owen. Go, Owen. Go, Owen. Go, Owen. Okay, you want to watch? I'll show you. 
Sebastian? <laughs> Sebastian. Hey, hey! <laughs> About that? Sebastian, yep. He's eating oatmeal. Pretty good portion there, mister. Good job. It was a lot of food. It's oatmeal, banana, and half of one of the muffins I made. It's a lot of food for your little belly. Hey you, are you ready to go? You wanna go tell the doctor what's up? Are you ready? Say let's go do it, mama. We got this. We got this. Just had to change my pants because I realized that they were a little bit see-through. So, can't be giving out any shows for free. You ready to go, dude? Let's do this. <laughs> Sebastian, we're here. And look who's here with us. My Nina's here. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> You're recording. Yes. I have the tea for his eye and Thank then the other half you. of his thing. All right, which door are we going through? All the way over there. Oh, should we have parked closer that way? If you want to look, we can. He's smiling as soon as we pulled up. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you ready? Hey, sexy. <laughs> hey, big sexy. So let's do this. Yeah. It's up to you. I have his blanket. We can just cover him up and walk. That's fine. I'll it's grab fine. Him. Okay. I'll grab him. Cool. This is how in tune Cindy and I, I are. Look at our colors today. <laughs> Why are we the same person? <laughs> we're matching. And we're just going to tell him that I'm. If they ask me who she is. I'm, he's Sebastian Vasquez. I'm the Vasquez one. <laughs> I'm the Vasquez. What do you think about that? That's pretty good. You got the hiccups. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous too because I don't know what this doctor is going to say. Thing. You got the hiccups? Don't be reaching for that mm. to me. Why are you so tired all of a sudden? Stress response. <laughs> Anxiety. I know I'm at the doctor. Dude. I'm anxious. He's <laughs> literally just laughing in the car. I wonder if he, I mean, he does know for sure. He knows. Okay. When we arrive at an appointment. It's okay. I think right. Yep, all the way at the end. This is where I used to work. Oh, yeah. Before my nurse quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. And then I never went back to work. This is the walk I took every day.
No. Oh, he's going to find comfort in that right now. What? And doing that. Oh, um, banging. Yep. Watch. I already know it's coming. You gonna put your head back? Oh, these are my muscles. He's sitting up. Where are you going? Hello? Any itching with that? Probably he's nonverbal, so he can't really tell me. But a lot of reaching and yeah. Do you notice him reaching for one eye specifically, or is it hard to tell? That's a hard question. He reaches up. Uh, he's left hand dominant, so he uses his left hand a lot, and he doesn't have a lot of like mobility. Mm -hmm. So he's always reaching up, trying to like open up his left eyelid. Gotcha. Um, he doesn't really reach for the right eye, but. I would assume there's pain there. Gotcha, gotcha. Have we noticed any yellow or green discharge? Yes, daily. Daily, okay. Yeah. Have we noticed any um, extra bumps or anything like that? Yeah, they seem to migrate all the time. Sometimes they're in the outer corner, sometimes right in the middle, sometimes in the uh, mm -hmm. the front corner. But the the center of his eyelid on the suture line mm -hmm. is always there. It's always inflamed. Okay. And does he seem light sensitive? No, I, I mean, I wouldn't say he responds to light. Okay. I think his vision is mainly light perception. He can see shadows. Um, and obviously if there's direct sunlight, he'll close his eyes. Okay. Um, are we using any eye drops as, at the moment? Not right now. No. No. Nope. Um, none of the ointments or anything like that? No. We did just go to the pediatrician on Tuesday because he had a really high fever. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if it was related to the infection in his eye or something else. Mm -hmm. um, but she did put him on amoxicillin for 10 days. So he is taking that now. That's the only thing. How many more days is he on that? Um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So like four more days? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 2.5 ml twice a day. Mm -hmm. I think we have that updated. I think we got a bed of room. So I'm going to take you to Dr. Izzy Gavin so I can check his eye. Okay. And then you wait for Dr. Izzy. Okay. Sounds good. All right, sweetie. <laughs> When we left last time, I, I used the drops and the cream. No change. I wanted to reach out to the surgeon who did his eye, mm -hmm. Dr. Kapustiak. Sure. I just sent him a couple of pictures of He's it. Tired. I know. He's a nice guy. Yeah, you both are nice. wonderful. Um, but anyway, I, I, I sent him a picture and I just said, you know, I just want, you know, your opinion where, you know, where you did things in his eye. There was like a sling material. I think it was a frontalis sling yeah. suspension that was used on the right eye. Okay. He thinks that that material is on its way to rejecting already rejected in the source of bacteria. His mm -hmm. eye has been swollen like this. This is worse than last. Yeah. And it's been months, months and months and months of this. And unfortunately, I, at first I thought it was a sty and then I thought it was a Shalazian because I feel like there's bumps in his lids that kind of migrate and they move but the bump on his eye which is right on top of the surgery line the surgery scar from that from that surgery that bump never goes yeah this week it swelled up so bad that now that it's gone down he has like dry like his skin started to almost like blister you see him So it's easier to show the picture than it is like, to mess with him. So there's the bump. Mm -hmm. You can see the skin is starting to break down over the bump. So what that bump is, you, this is my guess based on what I know Dr. Kapusik's techniques are. Um, when you do a sling, it's basically a rubber band. Mm -hmm. okay? You put, mm -hmm. say, okay, this area, this muscle is working, this muscle isn't working, so we're going to attach this 
this lid to this muscle so when then this muscle pull, pull it it'll lift the eyelid up yeah so literally they put sort of think of it as a string mm -hmm. goes from here to here to here tighten it and go there and then you tie a knot here yeah. pull it up tie a knot and there's a bump there where the knot is yeah now um uh, so why right there and that there? it depends a little bit on what how if it's related to the surgery or not so my assumption had been that no that's not the stitch the sling itself that is a, a glazing a bump a mm -hmm. sty mm -hmm. that's what i thought too yeah and it's still maybe because but it's right in the line where his where his super <laughs> track would be so it's a little bit hard to tell without flipping the leg over, which is very, very nice. I know, that's the hard thing, too. The other problem, of course, that he has is that the left eye is drooping. Yeah. And so the right one, either the suture or the collagen is causing trouble. And the left one, the, the, the surgery is not working. Um, so what do we do? It really just depends. If it's getting better, wonderful, then we, then we can like, ignore it. But if he's getting worse, then... Okay, so we have the options. Option one is ignore the left eye for now and just drain whatever's there, but try not to have to remove the, the, the sling if we can avoid it because of removing the sling, then it's going to drop its lid. Or remove the sling Find out that there's a sty there to drain, drain it if it needs to be there, and then put another sling in. It's slings that I would use these days. That, that's not done in office, right? No. Local and it's like. It's, it's okay. not local and it's fitting for human use generally. He's out. Okay. So if it was you, I could do, do I could that do the sty. I can't do the sling, but well, I could do it, but you wouldn't like it either. Yeah. So, um, but that's another option is to deal with the sty alone. It's, if there's a sty there, deal with sty and the sling at the same time. Deal with sty, the sling, and replace the sling. So the sling that I would probably do is a little different than what what you used to do, and a little bit different than probably what Dr. Fusi did four years ago. Instead of taking silicone material, which is more likely to, to reject, or well, can reject, it doesn't have to, but you put a suture in. Okay. And suture also can reject, but it's a little, yeah. bit, it's a little bit gentler material. Um, and it's it's quick and easy to to, to, to pass it. You, can, you don't have as much you don't have as much suture. You don't have to put as many holes in one, two, three holes instead of five. Yeah, that um, was a rough yeah. surgery. Seeing him afterwards, I yeah. didn't expect that. So I'm not sure that, that that this would not be rough too. I'm not I'm not rushing it. Yeah. So as far as well, is this a good time to be doing anything? And the answer is, it don't. It's, it's not an emergency. If and just drain the, the sty is a much is it is a pretty simple surgery to do. It's just that this I think the sling is overlying it. So if you drain it, this, the the suture may or may not be involved. I can't tell from the outside. Um, so I need to be prepared. If if we were going to drain one thing, I'd have to be prepared to do the other thing. Too, yeah. Maybe. Um, can we just leave him alone? Yes, as long as he doesn't get worse. So. Even though this is red and swollen, it's not the whole lid, and it's not getting behind behind the, the the eye socket. So as long as things are in front of that in front of that curtain, in front of in the septum, pre septal, yeah. Then even though it might look bad, it might swell, it might get you know not good, but it's not dangerous for the most part. Things that get behind it, get near the eye um, eyeball itself, all kinds of bad things can happen that become more quite sight threatening. I don't, this is still pre septal it's definitely all anterior where the suture was in the, just underneath the eyelid, not in the period. So, oh, oh my goodness, this is getting worse. He might lose the sight from this. We've got to drain it tomorrow. Okay. okay. I say, no, I think we can afford to wait and just see what happens. Medication doesn't get in very well. So there is no drop or ointment I can give you to go, this yeah. one will work better because it won't get in. Uh, to get medication in, you'd have to inject it, mm -hmm. which sometimes we inject styes um, but in his case, it almost seems to be needed and yeah. it as he's to do anything else. So again, I don't want to do that really in the way. I can't think of doing this because it's yeah. a little anxiety yeah. and you might have a problem. So I would sort of say, well, let's, let's keep pushing it off and maybe 
hopefully back. What's, what's your opinion on a steroid for it? So the well, only reason I'm asking is because... Um, that's the medication we would inject. Oh, so not nothing orally? Like a prednisone or something? The only reason I'm mentioning that um, is because I took him to the pediatrician on Tuesday. This most recent Friday, he had 102.6 fever. Hmm. Um, Did he put him on antibiotic? She put him on amoxicillin, she, she, yeah. She gave amoxicillin just in, in the affect of if there is an infection in there, maybe it would calm it down. Because, I mean, last week, two weeks ago, his whole eye, the whole lid was mm -hmm. red to the point that it looked bruised right. and very swollen. And now it's kind of coming down. It is an option. So when we do injections, that's why I would be injecting. Yeah. Put a steroid into the lid, right where the size, right where the inflammation is, deliver the medication where it needs to be, where it does some good. Um, Topical steroid won't get in. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Oral, then well, then let's do it orally. That would deliver some to the area. Okay. And um, the question then is is again risk benefit ratio on there. Mm -hmm. Is in is is he getting more swollen and we really need to reduce the, the swelling because the inflammation was is gonna be percent responsive to the steroid. Yeah. Or no, this is the body's working itself working it out itself. Um, if you were on prednisone, you'd have to be back on the antibiotic because prednisone orally will yeah. promote infections. And now you're talking about oral infection or oral antibiotics is gonna change this GI system. Yeah. I mean, it's not that we can't do it or don't do it. It's just, it's not, it's not a, uh, from my standpoint, if it's getting better without that, I don't really wanna add, add risk to, the, to the, his general status when this is getting better without it. So and I would even if he delivers tears, even when we inject it, mm -hmm. what's the problem with injection? It doesn't always work mm -hmm. because sometimes you 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 don't if you don't drain it, you're not draining anything. You're just reducing inflammation, and it doesn't actually finish the job. So I'm kind of reluctant to put him on a systemic medication, which might not do very much when he's getting better on his own. Well, yeah. here's it's it's better than it was last week, but I. It, like, Generally, flares. don't feel like it's getting better. Like it, it's been, he's had this thing on his. I could probably go through pictures on my phone for almost a year now. Yeah. So, but it's just been this. So the treatment then, you know, if you want to get rid of it, yeah, drain it. It's not, you know, it's not hard to do. I'm not scared of draining it at all. It's just that hassle for you to bring the operating room and all the rest of that. Yeah. So I have no no hesitation to say let's drain it. So if That's, we plan to drain it, he would be under, you could get a better look and see yeah. if there's a sty, see if there's an infected yeah, stitch. I still think this is a sty. Okay. I don't think it's in, in, in that it, it's primarily in, in, in suture problem, but I don't know that. It is in the area where that might be an issue. Um, so when those are sort of treated the same way, whether it's a, a surgical complication from his, from his sling, or poison, it's the same treatment from your standpoint. It's like, yeah, people sleep, open it up, find it, drain it. Okay. Um, and then deal with whatever's there. All right, so what I'll do is we'll, we'll save him a day. And Sorry, what did you say? Save him a surgical day. Okay. Set it aside. And then when should we do it? I'm gonna, some of it has to do with well, what's available. Some of it has to, it's just your, your, your choice. Okay. Uh, and one of the things I'm planning to do just right up the lid, drain the surgery, drain, drain the poison, and maybe, um, Re. maybe redo his, his, his sling if necessary. One of the questions then is, okay, we're getting close to the day, it looks like he really needs that. Um, sh as long as he's asleep, should we be doing the other leg? At the same time, once he's already asleep, and that lid obviously is, is much trickier than the right. Yeah, that, I mean, if we could do that, that yeah. would be wonderful. So <laughs> as long as, and I would say, yeah, I'm willing to do that too, as long as there's no big. If I cut into the clothes and say, wow, that's pus everywhere. Big and thick, yeah. I'm not going to expose the left yeah. lid when there's a when there's an abscess on the right. I really don't think this is an abscess. Okay. It just doesn't doesn't have that appearance or flavor to it. So I'm not that worried about it, but that'd be the only you know, caveat to all that.
Uh, let's go next door. We're going to bring next door to our to our surgery coordinator and we'll give him some options. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. what to say I have actually nothing to say <laughs> Sydney and I are getting a little smoothie and I think we're gonna get this for Sebastian it's pretty good I like that it smells good hi Mike I got this bougie yogurt bowl. They made him his own little smoothie bowl and they, oh, they blended it up for him and everything. Smoothie. There's a lot of good stuff in there. What do you think, Sebastian? Hi, baby. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Oh, he loves it. You like it. Okay. Okay. Relax. Yo te chingo. He yeah. li he likes it. He does some chinga sometimes. <laughs> oh. He loves it. It's really good. He's opening so fast for it. Yeah. It also the texture. I think it's easy for him. Good. What do you think? This is delicious. I'm bougie, that's why. <laughs> I, I got an bougie. I got an acai bowl. <laughs> this acai bowl was like ten bucks. Oh, I know. Damn. It's a big ass bowl. Well, whatever he doesn't finish, we'll just leave for you guys here. <laughs> Dang! I'm trying to tell you, I've been bougie my whole life. <laughs> We're home. We're home. You gonna lay down for a little nap for me? Maybe. Would you want to eat more smoothie? What? Oh. 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 I think we both need a post appointment nap. You gonna go nine nine for a little bit? Sweet. Now that we're all settled in at home, I have a lot of like mixed emotions about the appointment. I think the biggest thing that I feel sometimes, and I'm not even sure if it's related to this doctor or just this issue with Sebastian's eye because it's been going on for so long and it gives me a lot of anxiety and I wonder and worry about him and how he's feeling. But a lot of the times when I speak to a doctor and I've spoken to multiple about this issue in his eyelid, I just feel like unheard or like misunderstood or like I'm overreacting and I'm not because this issue has been going on for so long now. So when I, you know, go to a specialist specifically and, and one of their, one of their options is like, well, we could just watch it and see how it does. Like, it's not an emergency. He's not gonna lose his vision over that. I'm, you know, it, like that's not the point. At the end of the day, I know Sebastian more than any other doctor, than any doctor. And I know that it's bothering him and I know that it's something that needs a resolution. Something else has to be done. And I think just with this specific doctor, we just have different perspectives. We just, we, we have different perspectives and views and opinions on what on what's going on in his eye, and that's okay. But um, at the end of the day, you know, we decided that either way, uh, Sebastian is going to have surgery. We have a tentative surgery date set in June, and he's going to go in there and he's going to look and he's going to find whatever he finds. Maybe there's not an infection in the sling material. It's very possible that there is a sty on top of the material and it just like doesn't have an access point to like exit. You know, there is so many things that it could be, but there is a very obvious issue going on that hasn't been able to be resolved with 
antibiotic drops, ointments, antibiotics orally. Like there's something, something else has to happen next. So I'm glad that we agreed um, that he's gonna go in and just take a look around. And the other good thing about that is, so if he goes in there, probably if you listen to the whole appointment with the doctor, if he goes in there and there's no infection, there's like a little migration of the sling, he's gonna just do a revision no matter what on the right eyelid. And then if there is no infection on the right side, he is gonna do a eyelid lift on the left eye, on the left eyelid at the same time. So one surgery, one anesthesia. So I'm, I'm happy about that. The only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is this doctor operates out of a hospital that Sebastian has never been admitted to before. So they don't know his history. They don't know his case. They don't know that he has a particularly problematic airway. So I have reservations about letting him have a surgery at a hospital who knows nothing about him. However, what I think I'm gonna do is reach out to his ENT who has done all of Sebastian's intubations at his regular hospital and see if he has a sufficient referral of a surgeon, whether it be an anesthesiologist or an ENT who can be there during his surgery to monitor his airway during surgery. Or I don't know if it's possible, I know sometimes hospitals give privileges to other doctors and if his, his ENT knows how specific and compromised his airway can be, maybe they would grant him privileges to be there for the surgery. I don't know, there's a lot to think about just in regards to that. And then, you, you know, the other thing too, I'm just thinking about like, I'm thinking about the surgery in its entirety and wondering if I should just have this doctor go in and remove whatever material is in his eyelid now and just be done with it. I, I don't want to set Sebastian up to be in a position to risk having another infection in the future by placing new material in not only his right eye, but his left eye as well. I have feelings about that. But then I also have feelings about you know, we have doctors and surgeons for a reason. These people specialize in, in these, their fields because they have a passion for helping people. I do believe that. And the doctor that we are seeing is gifted and he, he is a good person. Again, we just have a difference of opinion sometimes. But if there is a surgeon who can confidently go into a procedure that would better Sebastian's quality of life, meaning lifting both of his eyelids up safely. So Sebastian had use of both of his eyes. I feel like that can only be beneficial to him, right? Other than it possibly rejecting that, you know, they're being an issue happening during surgery or infections or like so many things can go wrong. So I'm just really torn. I'm torn about a lot of things right now. So what I think I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is just leave this appointment in the afternoon. I'm leaving it where we left it and we have time to think about what we want to do and we will discuss it as a family on what's most beneficial for Sebastian long-term and we'll make a decision. And luckily we have time to do that. So I think I've had enough thoughts and overthinking for the day. So I think Sebastian and I are just gonna hang out for the rest of the day. I think we're gonna put on a little movie. It's already on like 4.30, I think, 4.30, 4 4.45. And we're just kind of winding down, me especially. I'm ready to just wind down and stop thinking about it. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people who have a lot of things to say. Um, Nobody is ever gonna agree with me. Nobody's always gonna agree with me, you know, like, but unless you were Sebastian's mom and you felt the way that I feel, maybe you, if you don't agree with me, maybe try putting yourself in my shoes and putting your kid in this position and just feeling frustrated about 
just not being heard by a doctor. And then before you judge me and tell me that I'm an idiot and think that I'm smarter than a doctor, because some people have told me that before, um, just know that I don't think that. I just want what's best for him. And sometimes it's hard finding the right doctor to be on the same page with you. And sometimes it's hard figuring out what's best for him. But just know that I want what's best for him no matter what. Um, for the right now and for the long term. So anyway, that's my spiel about the appointment. <sighs> I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys so much. It's been really nice talking with you guys in the comments and catching up and just taking a little bit of time to like connect with everybody online. It's been really nice. So thank you for clicking on this video. Thanks for sending us love and try to keep it nice in the comments. Sebastian needs me. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for being here. Hi. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? What else happened today? Tell me. What? It was a long morning, huh? Yeah. You are you want do you wanna hide from me? Are you done? Are you done with the films today? Yeah, okay. You gonna hide? Okay, I'm sorry. We could be done. <laughs> Tell everyone bye-bye. Say bye-bye? Yeah. Bye-bye. He will catch you on the next one.